Hey guys, so in my Instagram stories, I asked you guys if you would like to see a video of me trying out the Huda Beauty, the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold eyeshadow palette. This is the updated version of the original Rose Gold palette, so it's the new rose gold palette and so many of you guys said yes so here I am that's what I'm gonna be doing today um, I want to come up with a look with this palette today I think that I want to do something a little bit more complicated I guess so that I can use as many colors as possible so let's go ahead and dip my brushes and fingers into the palette and see what I'm gonna do and how the shadows will look on my eyelids and yeah let's go <laughs> all right so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes by the way the eyeshadow palette has also a huge mirror, which I'm really happy about. So I'm gonna start off by adding some concealer on my eyelids. And this is going to be my eyeshadow primer. Nothing really fancy. This is what I'm usually doing. I'm priming my eyes with concealer and it works great for me. Setting it in place with some face powder. Okay, so I like that they have different shades in the palettes, different colors. They have pinks, browns, something more cool toned, something a little bit more warm toned, and a lot of fun and shimmery shades. I like that. I have different eyeshadows to play with, different formulas, different finishes, you know, that's good. I also like the intense black eyeshadow here. It looks, it looks good. I never like actually swatch it. Okay, that feels really soft. Okay, let me kind of do a swatch. Okay, that's that's not bad it actually feels really soft so anyways i don't think that i'm gonna use the black one today but i was just really curious to to do a swatch of it and like see how intense it is because in the pan it looks pretty intense maybe i can like use it today i don't know i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do so um i'm gonna start with this shade here i think that this is a very nice like transition color crease color so i'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush and i'm gonna add that in my crease I used this Weaver 227 brush to apply that in my crease and it was pretty easy. It blended out really easily. It's called Demure, but honestly, guys, I'm gonna say something weird now. <laughs> if I had to name this eyeshadow, like if I had to give name to this eyeshadow here, if I had to name this color, it would be Bacon because this is the color of the bacon. Like, look at it. It's like, this is... Bacon. They should have named it Bacon, even though it would be really odd, but yeah, anyway. I'm gonna deepen up the crease using this shade here. It's called Hiena. Okay, this is going pretty good. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit more extra today because as I said, I wanna use as many colors as possible. I wanna try out as many colors as possible. So I'm gonna use lots of colors in the crease. So we're moving on to the next one. I'm gonna add some more depth to the crease using this deep brown color here. It's called Coco. To apply that, I'm using again that Morphe M506 brush that I used to apply the previous color. It's small, it's convenient, it's fitting right into my crease area there. It's just really perfect for the size of my eyes, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, I'm blending that eyeshadow a little bit lower in my crease. I wanna keep it as low as possible. I don't wanna bring it up to my brow bone. I don't wanna do that. So yeah, just blending it in the lower crease area there. This is that first uh, Zoeva 227 brush that I used. I'm dipping it in the eyeshadow, the first eyeshadow that I used. The bacon one and I'll add that in my crease just blending it out using circular motions and making sure that there are no harsh lines in the crease because we don't want that okay so I said that we're doing something more complicated today so let's get let's get to the fun part every time that I'm going for something more for a look that requires more precision I'm always getting super anxious because I mean, the more complicated looks require a lot of patience and I usually have plenty of patience, but that's not the case. What really scares me is that I can mess up the things really quickly. I can end up with a really messed up look on my eyes really quickly without even realizing. So, you know, I have to be more careful. I have to be more concentrated. So let's get in that concentrated 
state, mood, whatever you want to call it. So I'm taking a flat brush. Let me just find one. This is the Sigma E58. I'm going to take some concealer. Actually, no, no, hold on, not yet. I'm going to take a makeup wipe first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my eyelid area. I kind of want to do like a cut crease today along with something on the eyelid. Uh, we'll see. Okay, now I'm taking that Sigma E58, dipping it in some concealer. This is the same tired shape tape that I used as a primer. And I'm gonna clean up the cut crease that I started creating there. And setting that concealer again with some face powder. On a very small and thin angled brush, I'm gonna take this deeper brown shade and I'm gonna like outline the cat eye that I'm gonna do on my eyelid. Okay, so here I wasn't planning on doing that, but I'm actually going to connect the cat eye to the cut crease, something like this. Okay, that black eyeshadow here in the palette, it's just screaming my name. I want to use it today, so I'm going to add some of it at the tail of that cat eye. Okay, that black is really intense. You guys, that's a really intense black color. I like that. Now, you can see that I kind of left a gap here on my eyelids you know that this is the place where the shimmery eyeshadows go i'm really torn between all of the shimmers in the palette like i want to use all of them today i swatched some of them my favorite one was this one it's absolutely gorgeous i want to try out bubbly and moon dust i want to see which one looks better moon dust is a little bit more powdery though this is Moon Dust and this is Bubbly. In the pan, this one looks a little bit um, lighter. Okay, so off camera, I did some tests and I tried applying the Moon Dust eyeshadow in the inner corners of my eyes. It just didn't came out really intense. It, it wasn't okay. I also tried applying the Bubbly again in the inner corners of my eyes. It was better. I don't know if you guys can tell but look at Moon Dust. It looks a lot more powdery than Bubbly. Bubbly looks very creamy, very buttery, where Moon Dust is, you know, it's it looks powdery and it is. And if you guys remember, I used some concealer on my eyelid before I did the cat eye and I also set that concealer with some powder. So I already had a layer of something on my skin like powder and concealer. And I think that this really prevented the eyeshadows of coming out bright and intense and shimmery. I also tried using some glitter glue before applying them it was not working well with them. So after doing like some tests in, in the inner corners of my eyes, I came to the conclusion that these eyeshadows, the shimmery ones, they're meant to be used in a certain way. In my opinion and how I kind of understand the things, if you want to get the best of the shimmery eyeshadows in the palette, you need to use them on skin that has nothing on or a very sheer layer of um, eyeshadow primer. So. Um, I'm gonna use some eyeshadow primer before adding them. This is the Morphe Eyelid Primer. And then on top of it, in the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna add the eyeshadow Bubbly. Now, I'm also gonna add some of the rose gold shade here. Ooh, I think this is the star of the show. taking a mixture of these two colors here and I'm gonna use that to blend the shimmery eyeshadows into the black one. I'm also using some of that black eyeshadow to outline the cut crease, the cat eye, just to make everything a little bit more defined. Adding also a pair of falsies I love how this look is coming up, like, love it so much! Now, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna smudge 
what I'm gonna smudge. I'm gonna smudge some of this shade here along my lower lashes. You guys know that I usually don't do that, but some mascara on the lower lashes is, um, I think it's a good idea for this look. And this is the finished look, guys. Now, if you're wondering what makes me look more fierce, is that I added some um, black pencil with my waterline. That always makes me feel so, so fierce. <laughs> I can't think of any other word. Final thoughts on the palette. The packaging is gorgeous, by the way. I really love the matte colors. I think that they're wonderful. They're easy to blend. They're pigmented. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. They're soft, buttery. Everything is perfect. The shimmery ones, however, are they're a little bit different. I'm used to priming my eyes with concealer and powder on top. I think that the layer of powder is kind of preventing that eyeshadow to come out as intense as it is. Because, I don't know, maybe it's mixing with that powder, maybe it doesn't have anything to stick on, it's just on top of powder. And that is just not helping them to look their best. But if you're someone who is using a eyeshadow primer and you're used to applying your eyeshadow straight on top of it, I don't think that you're gonna have issues with the shimmery colors. I think that it's a little bit my fault that um, I had some troubles with them. The swatches that you know we see out there of the, of the shimmery colors are that bright and pigmented because you know you're just taking it on your finger, you know it looks gorgeous and then you're applying it on bare skin, it looks gorgeous as well. But Let's, let's do the test. I'm really like curious. So here it is, concealer. Blending it out a little bit because we don't want a thick layer. And then setting that with some face powder. This is how I would like prime my eyes. And then I'm taking the same eyeshadow. And here it is. You can see that it, it, there is a difference. Okay, there is a huge difference. So you can see how these small details can really change the way the eyeshadow is coming out. In my opinion, the best way to use those eyeshadows is on bare skin or on top of a sheer layer of um, eyeshadow primer as we did here. Regarding the colors, I think that they included beautiful colors inside. My favorite one is the black. I think that it's really good black eyeshadow. Um, the bacon one <laughs> and um, this one here. Although I didn't use that on my eyelids today, I think that this one is gorgeous. This is the one that I swatched on my arm a few seconds back. The price is, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think that it's a little bit overpriced. But if you think about it, you're not only paying for the eyeshadows inside and the packaging and all of that, you're also paying for the brand. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video. I'm so happy with how this look came out. I can't wait to go and take some photos of it. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, go ahead and do it now. Link is going to be down in the description box along with the link for my Facebook. Facebook and Twitter account so you can go and check them out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!